Hello, welcome back to Air Job Boss TV. I am the Air Job Boss, and you are tuned in and ready to go in the airline interview question and answer series. We're going to get right into it today. And today's question is What would you do if the captain was being unsafe or non standard? All right, this is a pretty straightforward question because this is what you're going to be doing. This is different from, you know, uh what are you interested in on your days off you know or what makes a great airline this is exactly what you should answer very well because you should know this responsibility now the responsibility as an fo is to monitor the conduct of the flight and point out to the captain in point of time anytime there is a safety related issue in addition those things that are non-standard that are being conducted please advise him so you're simply going to say Oh, yeah, here, before you answer any question, make a small pause like this. I think the primary responsibility to any crew member is to monitor the safety of the flight and to bring up things that uh, interfere with the safety or the standard operational policies of the flight. As a first officer, I'm here to assist the captain. But I'm also here to make sure that the flight is conducted according to company policy and certainly safely. So it is it is an FO's responsibility to it, when anything associated with safety is related, that needs to be brought up to the captain immediately so it can be addressed. Now, if it's a safety issue that I, I would hope to have a solution for that. For example, captain, we're above minimum vectoring altitude. I suggest we climb to this altitude. Uh, even though ATC gave us this, or at least verified the altitude with ATC, we were probably nearing terrain, right? Immediately bringing up safety concerns to the captain is a function and a responsibility of the first officer. So just tell them you'll do it. Um, you are going to tell them politely um, and with a solution, yeah? So you're going to make sure you say, well, I bring these things up politely uh, with a solution in an effort to increase safety or stop the procedure that is non-standard and to implement standard policy. My goal is to work well with another person. I am not going to escalate or make a conflict out of non-safe operation or non-standard procedures because the captain may not even be aware that they're conducting an unsafe action or they are non-standard. For example, at my company now, we always have revisions and changing in the standard operational procedure. So it's incumbent on both of us that the captain point out to me when I'm not standard and I point out to, to them when they're not standard so that we can continuously improve the operation and better comply with policies that may have been changed. Right. So you're going to answer it in some aspect of that. Obviously, if they want to escalate with a follow up and saying, well, you've you then feel like they're doing it deliberately. They're deliberately not complying with SOP. The answer is this. I would state to the captain my uncomfortableness and inability to continue flying an operation that is not standardized. My charge is to fly as standard and to make sure that the captain is flying standard and I have to bring that up and I must be adamant that they must comply with policy unless there is a significant reason for not. It, is there a significant reason this captain is so adamant about not complying? And you're going to ask that of the interviewer and they're going to say, nope, he just doesn't want to do it. Okay, then I'm going to continue, continue to impress upon him the necessity to comply. I am going to support the safety of the aircraft to the best of my ability moving forward until we get on the ground and we're safe. And then at which time I'm going to have a serious discussion and an ultimatum to the captain. Are you going to fly standard or not? I can't, uh, I can't fly with a crew member that is unsafe and not standard because it's my responsibility to stop the operation and make a report up the chain of command if the flight continues to be unsafe and I've got pilots that are operating in my crew with negligence and, 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 uh, uh, and misconduct. I, it's my responsibility. They hired me to do this. They hired me to stop the flight. So captain, please, 
would you be willing to comply with the standard policies as as we've we've I've pointed out and maintain a high level of safety or not? And then you're going to tell them, "Okay, he says no, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm flying the old school way. The old school way was safer. The old school way is better." What are you going to do? This is a follow-up. You're going to say, in that case, I'm going to remove myself from the flight and I'm going to report up the chain of command. I'm going to, and whatever that chain of command is, sometimes it's walking into the chief pilot's office and saying, hey, I got a problem. I just walked off a flight. Sometimes it's calling professional standards in the union. Sometimes it is making an email to the chief pilot. Sometimes it's filing a very specific company report. But the basics is going to be, I'm going to stop the operation, get off the flight, and I'm going to report up the chain of command. That is the ultimate corner they may paint you into. And you're not going to just be soft and go, well, I guess he's, he might be right. You know, maybe I can learn a thing or two. I'm just going to ride it out and see how unsafe he can be, right? That would be the alternate. So you're really going to have, if they escalate this down with follow-up to a point where the guy's adamant or the first, the captain is adamant, in being unsafe and not following procedure, it's going to come to you putting your foot down, exiting from the crew, and reporting up the chain of command. If they really want to hear that, that's what you're going to say. But start off small. Inquire. What kind of unsafe behavior? Can I'm going to ask him, hey, I'm going to point out, hey, Captain, that looks unsafe. Is there something I'm not getting? Uh, Captain, that's not policy. Is there some reason why you're not following policy? And then you're going to show them the policy. I found the policy here. It's written right here in the book. Do you think, do, did you know, can we follow the policy? I, I know I'm charged with following the policy. You wouldn't want me to come in here and just make up my own FO duties, right? You can always say something like that. So I expect that when I come, I'm owed that captains follow company policy and don't put me in a position where I have to carry this further down a disciplinary avenue. Okay. Pretty easy, straightforward question. I think most pilots would get this one right. Um, so that's it from Air Job Boss. There's no easy answer to it as far as if it escalates, but you might have to demonstrate sometime in your interview that you're gonna shut down the operation and report up the chain of command. All right, thank you so much. If you need assistance in your preparation for your next airline interview, contact me at the link below at airjobboss.com or if you have any comments, comments, please share, like, and subscribe. And if you want to contact me personally, you can do so at info at airjobboss.com. See you next time.